Hey there folks, my name is Nick from Board Game Brawl and this is your Kickstarter update. I've been itching to talk about a certain game for the last couple of weeks and that game is Arcadia Quest Inferno from Cool Mini or Not. Now this is both a standalone game and an expansion that can be mixed together with the original Arcadia Quest, which was Cool Mini or Not's most critically acclaimed game. It has all kinds of different new heroes, new monsters, new campaign modes, this new angel mechanism that seems really cool where you can either rescue angels or not rescue them, but then they become corrupted and might possibly attack you in the future. There's also expansion packs you can buy as part of the campaign that give you like a dragon scenario and pets as well. And I really love everything about this. Arcadia Quest is a fantastic game. This looks even better than the original, and of course it's just more stuff to add to the original. I am kind of bummed about the pets thing because it is a direct ripoff of Super Dungeon Explorer's last two campaigns where they introduced pets as a major mechanism. They even look the same as those pets, but still I can't deny that I'm going to be happy to have them. So check it out. Maybe this will make you a fan. Another game getting a lot of buzz on Kickstarter right now is Secret Hitler from Max Temkin and his company Cards Against Humanity. This is a hidden role type game and similar to The Resistance and Werewolf but without any kind of moderator. You and the other players are either going to be liberals or fascists in 1930s Germany. If you're one of the fascists you are trying to pass fascist policies in secret and also get your Secret Hitler installed into power. Uh, and if you are one of the liberals you are trying to get all of these uh, quote unquote good policies passed instead and therefore win the game as a team. Despite the grim subject matter it actually seems to be handled in a pretty tasteful way and the game seems very innovative and intriguing so I would certainly hope to uh, try it out soon. There is a print and play available if you're so inclined. Another cooperative game with a very different theme is Endure the Stars from Grimlord Games. This one is set in the very far future where players are survivors of this horrible accident on a giant spaceship. The spaceship was originally trying to colonize different planets using genetic engineering. You can guess how that turned out. There are genetic monstrosities hunting down the survivors of the crew. You all need to work together to scavenge for supplies and meet your objectives and just survive and hopefully escape. It has a very grim tone, very survival horror type feeling to it with some pretty interesting artwork. So so give it a look. GOTY Game of the Year, the card game, is from As3 Works, who are also video game developers. So it's no surprise that this game is all about developing a video game. Each player is going to have an objective they are trying to try to meet, a game they're trying to make, whether it's an RPG, first-person shooter, sandbox, whatever it might be. And you need to hire staff that is adept in different fields like artist and... Uh, uh, music and uh, design and 3D graphics, all of these different things in order to get talents which are going to be used to meet the criteria for the game to be made and the first person to do that is going to win. Of course it has a super interesting theme that I've heard is going to be applied to a couple of very popular games in the next couple of years but we definitely need to see more about this and this is your shot. My name is Nick from Board Game Brawl. You can check me out at youtube.com forward slash board game brawl. This has been your Kickstarter update and I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving weekend. Take care.